much about. I'm worried about whether we'll hold up. Time to check the turning radius. Guess I better buckle up before you check the turbo. Uh -huh. Hey, it's Klaus, Pally. We're a long way from land, you know. Now let's see what you really do. Swordfish. Golly, help us Dale to know it'd shish kebab our boat. You're right. He'd need a brain to know that. Hey, that's an insult. Now, you apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry I didn't say it sooner. Come on, you two. We're all in this mess together. We have to work together to get off this island. I suppose so. Sorry, Dale. Maybe we can hitch a ride home on the next seagull. We'd be off this island before you know it. need to panic, mate. We have all the pleasures of home right here. Why, it's practically a picnic in paradise. Hey, wait, what's a good idea? That was our last piece of cheese. No more cheese? Do I eat it? Do something, Chip. We gotta get off this island. Golly, you guys, listen to this. The blustering Hurricane Gary is headed north after destroying the tiny island of Kawanga Wenga. Crikey! Last time I was in a hurricane, it caused more damage than a cat at a canary convention. Then we're in big trouble. According to my calculations, Hurricane Gary is headed straight toward us. <gasps> Supposed to. 
<coughs> Crikey, a crocky! Gosh, what do you think this is? I don't know, mate. Let's have a look-see. I'd say this critter hasn't seen a dentist in quite a while. Looks like a pirate's hideout to me. Stand back, you lily-livered landlubber! Shiver me, Timbers. Who you be calling a lily-livered landlubber? This be Captain Monty you be clashing swords with. Oh, yeah? Take that! Take that! Take that! With all this, and I could have all the comic books and candy bars I ever wanted. Cheese souffles, cheese cakes, cheese a la cheese, cheese dips, players, cheese burgers, cheese sauce, and so many clothes. Where will the others see all of this treasure? Eh, uh, right. The others. Ah, uh, I guess they'll be wanting a cut of our treasure too. Ah, oh, do we have to tell them? Sure we do. They're our friends. Monterey? Gail? We just don't have to tell them right away. Where have you been? Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. We found it. Uh, we found it. Uh, well, uh, we found that there's uh, nothing on the other side of the island. Yeah, nothing. Well, golly, that's okay because we have good news. Yeah, a ship landed on our beach. Look. <laughs> We're in big trouble. It's a pirate ship. Yeah, but it's our friends, the pirates. Uh, careful, lad. They might not remember us. Well, don't be silly, Monterey. Come on. We've got nothing to worry about. Ahoy, pirates! Ahoy! <laughs> nothing to fear, eh? Uh, as soon as Jolly Roger gets here, we will decide if we should slice ya. Or dice ya. No, oh, dice ya. Or cut ya to ribbons. Or cut ya to ribbons. Or cut us loose. Or cut ya loose. Uh, hey, now cut that out. Stand aside. I'll take care of this lot myself. What's this? The rescue rangers? <laughs> How be ye, lads? We thought you forgot who we were. A pirate never forgets his friends. Now then, what are you hardies doing on this here island? We were shipwrecked. Oh, is that all? I thought there might be some trouble. There is. We need a ride home. Glad to help. But first, we gotta search for buried treasure. That's what we pirates do best, you know. But there's no time. A hurricane's headed straight for the island. Ah, nonsense! Whenever a hurricane blows, Stormy's mustache sticks straight out, like this. The rest of the time, his mustache is as limp as seaweed. So you see, me hearties, we got plenty of time to search for buried treasure. Howie, buried treasure! We're going on a treasure hunt! We've already been on a treasure hunt, remember? Yeah, we already. Hey, they're looking for our treasure. Well, follow along if you want to join us, mateys. Now, let's see. Where are we? Uh, on an island. We'll never get off this island if we wait for them. We'd better finish building our own boat. Uh, right. Uh, Dale and I will get those supplies we left on the other side of the island. I thought you said there was nothing on the other side. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, nothing. Nothing but the supplies. Too right. Bon voyage! Huh. Those two sure are acting goofy. Good. That means everything is perfectly normal. Let's see now. From here we go 3,000 paces to Porcupine Paul. Another thousand paces to Turtle Rock. Two hundred and sixty paces to Coconut Grove. And then, finally, seven hundred and fifty paces to Crocodile Cave, where the treasure is buried. Uh, but, sir, 
Wouldn't it be easier if we just... No, no, Stormy. We've got a treasure to find. Ready when you are, Monterey. Right then, just one more rock. You know, Gadget would be proud of us for this little get-up. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. What, what, and away! Going down. Coming up. find the loot's been looted. Of course, we did find it first. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Landed. What more could you ask for? How about a way down? Yeah. You had to ask. Well, that'll keep those pirates from finding our treasure. They're over here, Jim. I knew it. I'll play while we do all the work. Now, come on. The ranger boat is ready to sail. Ahoy! Not much farther to go, mateys. Uh, but, sir, Crocodile Cave is right over here. I know where it is, Barnacle Brain. I'm the one with the treasure map. Now, come on. I can't wait to get off this old island and on to a new case. Well, help me gather up the rest of the food and we'll cast off. Say, maybe we can take the treasure with us. Sorry to fizzle your fire, partner, but even if we had time to sneak the treasure aboard, the weight would sink this little boat. to brighten your day. Hmm. Now, why would some suave be leaving this here rope tied to the treasure? To keep the rope from wandering off. Careful, me hearties. That'd be a treasure chest of gold doubloons you'll be pulling up. Arr. Why, this be nothing but a bucket full of rocks. Aye. How much do you reckon they'd be worth? Fool. Someone got here before us. But there's no one else what knows about this here treasure. Except those rascally rescue rangers. After them, me hearties. Uh -oh. yeah! Maybe we should have told the others about our treasure. After all, they are friends. Too right. We should be ashamed of ourselves for not sharing all this lovely loot. So I guess we'll have to just divide up your half of the booty. My half? What about your half? Yeah, give this back. Come back here, you greedy little dog monger. What are you calling a gold monger, you, you selfish sneak? You can't be sure they made that hole in the ranger boat. And besides, we're still all rescue rangers. And that means we're... Surrounded! <gasps> so, you thought you'd scare off old Jolly Roger with Taka Hurricanes, did ye? Well, now, back to the pirate ship with these pitiful plunderers. We'll search for the others when this little drizzle lets up. Arr. Go on, step lively. We'll show you what happens to those what steals a pirate's treasure. Arr. 
I say we make him walk the plank. No, we did that last time. How about we kill all of them? No, we just painted the kill. We could dress them up like bunnies and dip them in chocolate. <laughs> I'm afraid that ain't piratical enough, Stormy. Well, considering the time of day and all, you could bury us in the sand and wait for high tide to come in. No, fine idea. Got it. Oh, oops. You know I can't resist the challenge. It looks like our gold fever caused the pirates to get a little hot at it. I sure hope your plan works. It's a bit of a long shot, but it is our fault the others are here, so we gotta try. But say we go trolling for sharks. <sighs> and we can be using these three as bait. <laughs> Careful, Pally. This cannon's a wee bit... <laughs> Slippery. Well, well, well. What have we here? A couple of stowaways? Yeah. I don't suppose you'd care to let our mates go nice and peaceful like before we have to hurt you. Hardy, hard, hard, hard. What are you going to do, laddie? Make us laugh to death? But you'll be pointing that cannon in the wrong direction. I told you to be a long shot. What's the matter? Afraid of getting rained on? You might say that. <laughs> Is everyone all right? No, thanks to you. Uh, sorry about the ranger boat. And all of the trouble we caused. I'm afraid we're in for even more trouble. Looks like that hurricane's on its way. Uh, right. Uh, no time to talk. Got to get back to Crocodile Cave. Crocodile Cave? I knew it. They're going for our treasure. After them! <laughs> everyone from the hurricane. I told you before, there's no hurricane. Why, just look at old Stormy's mustache. Yeah. 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 Deserving a big pat on the back. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got the drop 
on me that time, Stormy. Now, let's hoist anchor and shove off! Uh, <laughs> that is, <laughs> as soon as the tide comes in. Golly, it sure was nice of the pirates to share their treasure. Crikey, it was nice, wasn't it? Of course, uh, I deserved it. You? What about me? Give me that. It's mine. Not anymore. Wow. 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 Macaws and toucans are just some of the colorful creatures that make their homes in the cacao trees. And up ahead is an Amazon tree sloth. Golly, a vacation in exotic places really opens your eyes to different cultures. Looks like you opened some eyes too, Kenji. I suppose my supercharged xenon flash is a bit bright. No, the sun is bright. That thing is downright blinding. See, I didn't need to come. I could have waited for the slideshow. Who knows what kind of mysteries I'm missing back home? Oh, Chip, even rescue rangers need a vacation every once in a while. Golly, you'd think a South American jungle would be exciting enough. Oh, but senores and senoras, although we cannot see them, ferocious beasts are all around us, watching, waiting, and feeding. For the most part, they present no problem. But when their food supply thins out, they must find new territory and new prey. Wow, great picture, Dale. You caught him right in the act. You were after my chocolate again. But I ran out. Really, Dale? Sugar isn't good for you. Well, I don't need sweets. I could give them up any time I want. Oh, you could not. Could too, could not. Could too, could not. Could too, could not. All right, sugar brain. Let's see you do it. Hmm? Give up sweets for the rest of the vacation, starting right now. No, I, I didn't. Golly, Dale. What a great idea. I'm so proud of you. Caramba! My beautiful jungle. What happened to the trees? Tooraloo! It looks like half of them just up and left. Golly, but where would a tree go? If it had a choice, I mean. Look out from below! Ooh, I'll get you for these two molting feather dusters. We were here first, Tito. Say, find your own tree. Oh, pardon me for falling on you, senors. What's going on? Oh, this local housing shortage. Every night, more trees boop, disappear. Even I, Tito Manuel Hidalgo Jones, have been forced to sleep among the birds, which I would not wish on a la cucaracha. Just keep yourself and your fleas out of our tree. Well, Chip, you wanted a mystery. Tree nappers of the Amazon, huh? Sounds like a case for us. Rescue Rangers away! <laughs> Eating these in front of Dale. Shucks. Go ahead. Giving up sweets is easy when you have lots of willpower like me. Hey. Don't worry, Dale. We just want to give your willpower a bit of a hand. Oops. <laughs> Forgot about my emergency supply. Dale is sort of on a diet, so we try not to mention sweets in front of him. Considering the case, Senorita, won't that be difficult? See, only the cacao trees are being taken. <laughs> and the cacao bean is where chocolate comes from. Someone wants to make the pig of himself with all the chocolate. Sound familiar, Dale? But this is important. They're stealing chocolate. We gotta look for clues. <sighs> well, there's nothing we can do tonight. Sweet dreams, everyone. Oops. Sorry, Dale. <sighs> no chocolate. Gosh. Good thing I remembered my emergency, emergency supply. Yeah. <laughs>
Up now. <gasps> They're all zombies! I gotta get help! Golly, I'm more tired now than I was when I went to bed. Dale, where have you been, Dale? Where have I been? Where have you been? <sighs> Gee, Dale, I think Chip asked you first. I went out in the jungle to eat, uh, breathe some fresh air, uh, and when I came back, you were all zombies and stealing all the chocolate trees. Cooey! That sounds like one rip snorter of a nightmare. Uh, uh, I wasn't dreaming. All that candy just tasted too good to be a uh, dream. Uh-huh. Peppermint breath. I knew you couldn't stop snacking. Oh, Dale, how could you? Making up stories to cover your 
snacking. I'm not making anything up. You were all zombies and you stole the trees. And I'm gonna prove it to you. You zombies carried the trees right behind this waterfall. Now, why would we do that, Dale? Don't ask me. You're the zombie. You see, you see, I told you. You must have taken the trees into this cave. Golly, could Dale be right after all? The trees have to be here! I, I, I saw them! Poor Dale! His mind's gone! Huh! It was never there in the first place! I'm not going crazy! Uh, am I? Why would a carving be hidden behind a waterfall? Oh, you, do you think it could be a clue? A clue to what? I'd better 
make the next batch light chocolate. <laughs> Responsibility. Chipmunks, I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Unlike some others I know, unfortunately, I can't have people finding mouse hairs in my chocolate. A feed is in. Everything. <laughs> no 
everybody appreciates a good entrepreneur. The faster he plants the trees, the sooner you get out of our feathers and find another place to live. Ay, ay, ay! Let's put up some condominiums. Golly, what a great trip. Yep, it just needed a little mystery to keep things exciting. Hey, where's Gale? You mean Mr. Candy Snacks? He's right over there. <laughs> Getting his just desserts. <gasps> Doc! They know we have the microfilm. How will we get out? No problem, Oddshoe. I'll just use my double-O agent belt rope. Dirk Swan has a secret agent trick for every emergency. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Swan. <laughs> hey, it's Dr. Soso. I want the microfilm, Swan. <laughs> Sorry, Soso. You didn't say please. Wowzers, a secret jetpack. Nobody can top Dirk Suave, Double O, Super Spy! Oh, no, not again! Looks like Dale's enjoying another one of his spy movies. Goodbye, Mr. Suave! Quick, Oddshu, the cufflinks! Thanks for showing us the way out, Susan. Not again! Swab, double O, Super Spy, saves the world again! He always saves the world. Big deal. You should have been with us looking for cases at the police station. But this is our business, too. If we could learn his spy tricks, we would be better rangers than ever. Uh, next thing you know, you'll want to stuff us in tuxedos and hide hand grenades in our trouser cuffs. <laughs> Wake me when me cummerbund is ready. <sighs> Come on, Dale. Even double O spies need sleep. What's that? It's coming from your workshop, Gadget. I'll check it out with my night scope. Dale? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm double O Dale, super spy. How are we supposed to sleep with you goofing around in Gadget's workshop? Super spies do not goof around, but we do get around. Oh, I can see they get around, Pie Pally. But how are you gonna get down? No problem. My double O spy belt buckle will have us down in a jiggle. Well, that worked. Kind of rough on the landing, though. I guess maybe there's still a few bugs to work out, but isn't this stuff great? Thank you, Gadget. I even have a secret spy camera. You see? <laughs> maybe it works a little too well. But I know these are gonna work. My super spy stink and smoke cufflinks. <laughs> Oops. All clear, Chip. Thanks, Gadget. Let's get back to bed, everyone. Including all double O spies. How about a little sleep, Dale? Oh, I would probably mess that up, too. I'll never be as good as a double O spy. Aw, oh, Dale, you're good at lots of things. Yeah, like making people laugh when I mess things up. Good night, guys. If Dale wants to be a secret agent, then I'm going to help him. Your jet tank is a brilliant invention, Professor Whitebread. 
I imagine the bidding will be quite high for a tank that responds to thought. <laughs> All right, boys. Get me in there. Hey, you twerps. Quit pushing me. It was Louie. He pushed me. I did not. Hey! What would I do without my little rodent tail pants? Perfect. Hard to believe this can turn thoughts into orders for the jet tank. <laughs> now, where would they keep it? <gasps> you idiots! That's going to bring every guard in the place! <laughs> I'll handle the soldiers. You take the microfilm home! Francis, whose home are we supposed to take the film to? Our home, Mo. Our home. Gosh, why didn't I think of that? Because you don't think, Louie. All right. <laughs> I forgot. Hey, thanks, Francis. Where is everybody? I suppose we messed up so bad last night they didn't even want us with them. Cousin Gadget said that if I ever needed help, I could count on the rescue rangers. Right. They'll be back any minute now. But there's no time to wait. This microfilm must be delivered immediately. You'll need this map to find my contact. You must be careful. Enemy agents are everywhere. My contact will know you by the password. Seven shy spies stole the shyster's secrets. I know you won't let me down, Super Spy. Good luck. Remember the password. Right. Seven Spy Chies see the Skylox Egrets. Bond's a job there, Gadget. Just like a real femme fatale. Thanks. Maybe this game will make Dale feel like a real spy. You didn't have to kiss him. Golly, isn't that what spies are supposed to do? It's all pretend, Chipper. We did hurt Dale's feelings last night, making fun of his spy stuff. So this little adventure will make him feel better. He looked like he was feeling pretty good already. Hey, Zipper. Oh, oh boy, a secret agent kind of case. Now's our chance to be double O spies for real. Shh, here they come. We'll have to hurry to beat them to the checkpoint. Knowing Dale, we'll be lucky if he finds the place. <laughs> this traffic is gonna kill us. Quick, in the sewers. Do you mean there's quick traffic in the sewers? Follow me. I can't tell which end of the map is up. Hey, now there's the microfilm. There it is. Dirk Swan. 
Bob would never run away. We gotta go back. <laughs> we have to meet a friendly agent on hole four. Besides, maybe that enemy spy is gone for now. Remember, Zipper, seven spy guys stole the... Oh, that stupid rat nose itches. You're just sore because Double O Dale got the drop on ya. Besides, the game's nearly over. Game? Oh, be a sport, Chip. Get the microfilm and make sure Dale follows you back to headquarters. None of it was real. It was all a fake. But it was fun. And it could be even more fun now that we know it's a game. This isn't my microfilm. This is a bunch of nature photography. Hey, I know that place. Me too. That's the park. If you idiots don't bring me my microfilm, I will personally demonstrate my better rat trap. I want that microfilm tonight! Ooh, he sure sounded mad. No sweat. These guys must have gotten our film. If someone's gonna fry tonight, it ain't gonna be us. <laughs> this time I'm really gonna scare Dale. Looking for someone, Mr. Enemy Agent? Huh? How'd you, uh, <clears throat> hand over that microfilm? You forget that you're dealing with Double O Dale, Super Spy. Aren't you afraid I'm gonna shoot you? Not if I shoot you first. Well... <laughs> vacation photos. Quiet, numbskull. We figure if we got your film, then you got ours. But we gave that film to... to Dale. Oh, I knew he'd mess up. Well, let's just hope that you know how to get our film back so we don't have to mess you up. <laughs> Take these two back to the boss's place for insurance. Right. Gee, does the boss sell insurance? We'd like to investigate other policy options. Yeah, we're disappointed with the premiums on our long-term life annuity. Just go! 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 Get out! This spy game is great! I wonder what's next. Dale! Zipper! Looks like it's time to face the bad guys again. Boy, am I glad I found you, Dale. That's double O Dale to you, Mr. Enemy Agent. Who's your goofball sidekick? Uh, no, Dale! He's a spy! <laughs> Isn't everyone? <laughs> that film you have is real microfilm! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, then you can have it. Smart. Very smart. Just tell me the password. <laughs> password smash word. Just give me that film. No need to get teed off. If you want it, come and get it. Come back here with my microfilm. <laughs> he, he thinks this is all a game. <laughs> well, if it is, you just lost. Golly, why'd you bring us to a farm? What are you gonna do? Milk us to death? No, meathead. We're gonna put you out the pasture. Hit it, boys. I hate that. Yeah, when the boss comes back, he's gonna want that microfilm. Even if we had it, we wouldn't turn it over to enemy agents like you. Not a wise choice, Chipmunk. But maybe I can make you see the light. Press the button, Mo. Pretty sloppy. They didn't even give us a clue to follow. 
was lucky you picked up the trail. <laughs> Wowie, this is just like a real spy's hideout. That's the guy with the film. Come along, Dale, super spy at your service. Run, Dale, or they'll get you too. Get him, boys. Gosh, this almost looks real. The first rule of super spy dumb zipper is always be alert. Super Spy, we got your point right here. The old needle in a haystack trick. Hmm, how would Dirk Swab Super Spy handle this one? <laughs> Works for me. thinks this is all a game. Come here, Louie, and bend down. <laughs> Time out. Can you help me with my buddy's costume, Mr. Uh, Double O Dale? Surely. I need a break, too. <laughs> he ruined the microfilm. Here, let me give it a try. Don't do it, Pally. This is all really a uh, game, <laughs> and that really was real <laughs> microfilm. <laughs> that camera of yours better work, or Mo here might have to do some shooting of his own. Can't stand sitting here while those dirty wombats make Dale help him. But with that thing on his head, all Mo has to do is think, and we'll be fricasseed rangers. If only we could distract him. Gadget, do your secret agent act for Mo like you did for Dale. What? I couldn't do that. I don't even know him. You have to. It's the only way to help Dale. Oh. <whistles> <whistles> I'm not going to wait for those idiot rats to find the film. I got in once, I can do it again. What happened to Dale? So good, Francis. It won't feel so good either. Let's ah. scram out of here. Uh, there. What? I'm not defenseless! <laughs> That's what those rangers get for taking a tank for a spin. And no, 
now we turn up the heat. <laughs> All right, no more Mr. Nice. This is fantastic. And you were always complying, and then it was Lloyd at it. Demonstration, didn't I, Dale? <laughs> uh, uh, Dale? transformer at the power company. The weird thing is that it looks like it wasn't an accident. I know it sounds crazy, but... <laughs> but we got a letter taking credit for the lightning strikes before they hit. <laughs> Sorry, but, uh, well, kitten runaways aren't in our jurisdiction. But Spunky would never run away. Somebody must have taken him. <laughs> oh, now don't cry. I'll tell you what. I'll tell the men to keep an eye out, okay? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Poor little girl. I think we should help her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sure, we can follow in the ranger plane. 
Are you lads sure we should uh, <coughs> help a kitten? After all, uh, don't kittens grow up to be uh, cats? No offense, Gadget Lover, but you sure you finished? Sure, I'm sure. Not like the last time. Oh, Monty, how many times do you think the wings can fall off a plane? I don't know, you tell me. I have complete trust in your work. <laughs> All the same, uh, perhaps someone should pound the pavement a bit and ask them questions. You know, find out if anyone's seen a little nipper. Great idea, Monterey. Here, get Gail with you. Show the photo around Cat Alley. <laughs> Cat Alley? Every cat in the city hangs out here. Why do we have to check out? Uh, and do you know what cats eat? Nice. Too right. I don't think they wouldn't mind a bit of chipmunk for dessert either. No, no, no. Mice! Too right. What happened to all the cats? Hey, dude, don't look a gift cat in the mouth. They bugged out two nights ago and ain't been back since, man. How about this skinny bitty cat? Hey, cool your jets. You don't want to put a clamp on things by bringing back a cat. It's time to be a party animal. Do you think something chased the cats away? Maybe. The trick to solving a case like this is to think like a cat. No, 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 no. Not think like cat. Be a cat. Better lay off the nuts, lad. You are what you eat, you know. Me. I had nightmares about being inside cats, but they were nothing like this. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm a shrimp on the barbie?
to me. I guess the cats weren't eaten after all. No. Someone is using robots to capture cats. But for what? And where? Gadget, can you fix this? Sure. Just have to reconnect a few wires. We can ride inside it. I can hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> Line up! <laughs> Nice puppies! <laughs> oh, my poor puppy. Let him scatter now, we. Professor Nimnal will make it all better. <laughs> but first, give Dadums the nasty kitties. Seems a bit too roomy in here. Where are my cats? You incompetent nanny! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't like being laughed at. I offered those fools at the power company a revolutionary source of cheap power, and they laughed. But they'll be sorry. The police have my demands, and this time, it is I who will do the laughing. <laughs> you are so right. Let's find Spunky and beat it. Ooh, nobody's gonna find one little, little cat in that. He's found Spunky. Who are you guys? We're the Rescue Rangers. We're going to get you back to your little girl. Monterey Jack, get the bars. Mr. Monterey? Dad, uh, don't mention it. Easy? Easy? Now let's beat it while the beating's good. No! What? what? We're not leaving till all cats are free. We are the rescue rangers after all. And who knows what that terrible man has in store for them. But how can we open all these cages? Just press buttons, see?
Crikey! What's that thing doing now? Trying to make friends? No! It's building up an incredible charge of static electricity! We have to do something! This ought to do it! generator. It'll throw a lightning bolt that'll make the city sizzle like bacon! <laughs> uh oh This doesn't look good. It's gonna be a hot time in the old town tonight! <laughs> For some serious devastation. How do we stop it now? Oh no, the kid's gone bonza loco.
Not so fast, small fries. You rodents are history! Ouch! What? You again? Oh, no. Where's that no good... You'll pay for this! When I get out of here, the whole world will pay! Well, they're all out, and if I never see another can, it'll be too soon. I, um, uh, no offense, kid. Of course not, Mr. Monterey. Let me out! Let me out! Now, only one job left. I wonder where my can opener is. I don't see why I have to wear a bow. Do you think she'll remember me? is as far from me as possible. <laughs> <laughs> First Federal National City Bank. Hello? Hello? Yo! Practical jokers. The bank alarm? But who? One little adjustment and this will run with no problems. <coughs> what are you doing? Sorry, Gadget Love. It's a reflex. Every time I hear the words, no problems, it usually means anything but... <laughs> like I was saying... Sorry, Muddy. Get out of my way. Let me see first. <laughs> Squabbling, I'm getting a back out of you. Here's the hardware store. There must be something here I can use to fix. Oh, 
Ouch! Oh, my! Oh, sorry. Did I... I mean, uh... Hello? Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Uh, everyone just calls me Sparky. Well, I'm Monterey Jack. New and electric ear, your name's Sparky once. Of course, every time you touched him, you got a shock. Oops, sorry about that. You see, I'm a lab rat, specializing in electrified mazes and shock therapy. Guess I still have a little voltage built up. Golly, you work in a science lab? I do? Well, you just said you did. Oh, well, that explains this voltage buildup. Sounds like a short circuit between the ears to me. Come on, Gadget, let's get going. Yeah, we gotta fix the Ranger Mobile. Transportation problems? We had kind of an accident. The battery shorted out. Oh, allow me. What are the benefits of being a lab rat? That and you never have to comb your hair. <laughs> I'm sure glad you had time to visit, Sparky. It's so nice to finally talk to someone who understands me. We're really on the same wavelength. Let me show you my latest invention. This is my automatic plunge popper prototype. Push a button and it works with no problems. Crikey, <laughs> she said no problems. <laughs> But if you tighten this tri-valve adapter, it'll shoot twice as far. No problems! Golly, Sparky, you sure are smart. I don't see what's so special about that guy. Come on, we're not gonna let any lab rats show us up. Hey, we'll show you how to make this thing really fly. Yeah, all you have to do is pull this back uh, a little bit more. Yeah. <sighs> I'll get a broom. Oops, I forgot to turn off my tea kettle. It'll be right back, mate. Hey, what's with him? Of course. Tell her what? Come on, Sparky. The boys can clean up their mess by themselves. I can't wait to see your lab. Wow! Look at all this neat stuff. There's even a left hinged framwinkle. And it has a battery driven oscillator, too. I could stay here forever. <laughs> She's thinking of leaving us. It all belongs to the professor. He's a real genius. <laughs> Taught me everything I know. Ouch! Must be getting a little rusty. The shock helps motivate the memory. Golly, I think you do great. Yeah. Play it again, Sparky. Oh, hiya, Buzz. Meet Gadget. Careful. The professor has been motivating Buzz, too. Nice to meet you. How about a little demonstration of maze running, Buzzy old boy? Sure, Sparky. Hey, what about my motivators? You know, I need them to run the maze. Oh, why would you want to run the maze? Uh, because you asked him to. I did? Well, then he'll need his motivators. This sign gets him ready to run, and this tells him where to go. Ouch! Never get in the way of a motivated guinea pig. What happened? He took a wrong turn. Don't worry. 
Buzz gets a real charge out of it. He looks like he's not even thinking. That's the beauty of it. Action without thought. The professor says, thinking wastes time. Well, he's sure not wasting any. Well, how'd I do? Do what? <laughs> we could do better than that. Sure you could, mate. <gasps> oh, Monterey! I knew you two were up to something. Spying on our gadget. I'm taking you out of here before your jealousies cause any... Whoa! Zipper? Now you've done it. What are you doing here? Maybe they've come to run the maze. Uh, yeah, that's it. We came to run the maze. Oh, I'd advise against it. We'll show Gadget. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> I think you better turn it off now. Good idea. Unfortunately, the professor never taught us how to do that. Boy, I've tap dance on skillets cooler than that. Now, why don't you blokes really impress Gadget by finding the right way out? The professor's back. We have to get back to our cages. Professor? <gasps> That's Norton Nimno, the evil scientist. <laughs> I feel like taking another trip to the bank to study money matters. Because to me, only money matters. <laughs> oh, humor comes so easily when you're an evil genius. Oh, no. He'll see the boys. If Nimno finds us messing with one of his evil plots, we're finished. Well, let's get out of here. It's no use. We'll never find a way out. Then we might as well baste ourselves with butter mites, because we're going to fry for sure. <laughs> oh, this time I've really outdone myself. I'll empty every bank like a can of kibble. Time for another after hours withdrawal. We better hightail it out of this maze before Professor Nimnal spots us. But how can we find our way out without being zapped? This is terrible. They have to get out of there. I need a piece of cheese. How can you eat at a time like this? What? Sparky, are you out of your cage again? Oops, better go. I hope Monterey can pick up the scent. Sparky, where are I... What? What's wrong with the maze? Must have been a short circuit. <laughs> Thanks, Zippa. Well, I always say the cheese gives me a charge. Impressive performance. That's real action without thinking. You could be part of the professor's experiments. Just what evil experiment are you and Nimno up to? Evil? Don't be ridiculous. Nimno's a scientist, a real genius. Why, he told me so himself. Sparky! Ah! You are in your cage! Oh, well, I'm sure Sparky has a perfectly good reason for working with Nimno. Yeah, they're both rats. Why? There's one guinea pig I wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. Course, I wouldn't want to meet him in a sunny alley either. Ah, what a work of wonder. Why shouldn't it be? After all, I made it. 
No more electronic robot brains to fizzle my plans. Thanks to my behavioral modifications, I have real brains that act like robots. Crocky, it's the same thing Buzz did when he heard the sound. That's because it's Buzz's brain that's controlling the robot. Come, my little furry friend. It's time to show off my genius to the undeserving world once again. Gadget, you better check out that robot. Well, what about Sparky? He might be in trouble. Yeah, more like he'll be causing trouble. Don't worry, we'll take care of Sparky. Closing time. <laughs> Just enough time for one small deposit. Golly, Buzz looks like he's ready to run the maze. But where is the maze? Beats me. Smells like Kinbridge is here, is ready to sprint through the sewer system. That's it! The maze is actually a model of the city's sewers. Buzz is programmed to follow it without thinking. So all we have to do is unprogram them. No problem! <laughs> yes, did I say that? Nimble left the bank without Sparky, so he must still be in there. Well, I don't see him. You have reached City First National Federal Bank. At the tone, leave your message. Ah, banking by phone. <laughs> what will I think of next? Look, it's Sparky! Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, careful down there, Gadget Love. No telling when this furry tin can's gonna take off. Don't worry, Monterey. Buzz's thoughts are what control the robot. And Buzz won't even think of moving unless he hears... An alarm! Hey, why'd he turn on that alarm? It must be what Nimno programmed him to do. And if Nimno wants the alarm on, then we want it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Howdy, mates! Quick! Short circuit it! We can't! Remember what happened last time? Uh, would somebody mind telling me what's going on? Professor Nibnall is a crook! He programmed you and Buzz to rob banks for him! He used science for evil purposes? Why, I'll pulverize that robot of his into atomic particles! Hold it, Sparky! That's rescue ranger work! We'd better let Chip and Dale handle it! They're the best! We are? We are! He likes us! Let's go! We've got a job to do! Come on, help me carry this! Bob's found the bag because he's programmed to follow the sound of the alarm. So we're setting off our own alarm. Golly, you did it! Yeah, we sure did! Your tiles, mates! This way! For you! We made it! Not quite. Remember, nothing can stop a motivated guinea pig. Ah! Time to reap the rewards of my... my robot! Wait! What are you doing out here? Go get him, Buzzy Boy! Now there goes one motivated guinea pig! Sparky! Buzz! I caught up with him after the alarm clock wound down. We just stopped to say goodbye. Buzz and I signed up for a new science lab at MIT. Great! When do you leave? Oh, that's okay. I can understand if you don't like me. In fact, I was wondering why you two didn't run off and leave me at the bank. Well, we were a little jealous at first, but we understand if Gadget likes you better than us. Golly, don't be silly. No one could ever replace you. You hear that? She said no one could ever replace me. You? She said no one could replace me. Well, she probably hit at me. Oh, well, I hit you. Oh, she hit me. 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 Oh, she hit me.